Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Francisco here. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about two romantic rituals that we can practice with our romantic partners to make sure our intimacy and closeness with them is as strong as possible. Intimacy is a practice and it's a practice that we need to strengthen every day on an ongoing basis. If you ever feel a bit disconnected from your romantic partner or lack of intimacy, and I'm not just talking about sex, I'm talking about a lack of intimacy and closeness in general, then it's good to think about and come back to these romantic rituals that I'm going to talk about today and help practice them, help strengthen them. And this isn't a one-way thing. Thing. It's a two-way street, right? You and your partner need to be on the same page. So I encourage you to talk to your car partner about this. But the two romantic rituals that I'm going to be talking about in this video are the hellos and our goodbyes, as well as the good mornings and good nights. So both of these rituals are kind of the same because they're both kind of saying hello or goodbye or good morning or good night. But I want you to see these as a time and an opportunity to be intimate with your partner. Obviously, you know, sometimes we're always in a rush or trying to head out the door quickly or we wake up or we're going to bed tired and we don't have too much time, but I still want to encourage you and urge you to take these moments as an opportunity to practice being intimate with your partner. So if you've seen one of my previous videos on love languages, you know that there are a certain number of love languages and specific types of love languages. And definitely check out that video if you want to know more about love languages and how to use them. But I want you to take these opportunities for these moments of intimacy, these romantic rituals, I want you to take it as an opportunity to practice some of the love languages. So in your hellos and goodbyes, you know, when someone's walking out the door for the day to go to work or to run an errand, I don't care how small or how short of a time that you're going to be apart, I want you to take this opportunity to be intimate with your partner. And it can be as simple as a quick kiss goodbye or a quick kiss hello. You know, if you're short in time, make it a quick kiss and just say, you know, I love you. So right there, there's two love languages. There's the physical touch of a kiss. You know, it can be a quick little hug as well, kiss on the cheek. And then also the words of affirmation, another love language of Goodbye, I love you, I'll miss you, I can't wait to see you later, you know. Use these opportunities to practice your love languages and to strengthen that intimacy between you. So the same thing goes for hellos and goodbyes as well as good morning and good nights. You know, when you leave or when you're going to bed, take that opportunity to kiss them goodnight, kiss them goodbye. Tell them that you love them. Tell them, you know, have a good sleep. Have a good day at work. Use those moments to practice those love languages of physical touch and words of affirmation. And, you know, use it as a way to keep that intimacy strong. If you ever feel like you're feeling a bit disconnected or out of touch with your partner, I want you to think about these two rituals, your hellos and goodbyes and your good mornings and good nights. And think about, are you using these rituals, these opportunities to be intimate with your partner, to be romantic, to show and receive love through those love languages, through a kiss, a hug, a goodbye or good night, that physical touch, or, uh, you know, have a good day, have a good sleep. I'll miss you. I love you. Some words of affirmation too for the hellos and goodbyes and for the good nights and good mornings. You know, those are four times or at least two times you're definitely waking up and going to bed, um, you know, where you have the opportunity to show these love languages, to be romantic with your partner. So see these events, these daily occurrences as opportunities to be romantic with your partner, these romantic rituals, and see it as a ritual, as something that you do 
every time, you know, because if you start to let it loose and start to be, um, you know, oh, okay, bye, like I'm working, you're leaving, bye. Of course that happens once in a while, but don't let that get out of control and that become the ritual. Don't let a lack of physical touch, a lack of words of affirmation become your ritual. Strengthen that ritual by making, yes, words of affirmation will be there, physical touch will be there, and make that your ritual for your goodbyes, for your hellos, for your good mornings and good nights. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. Remember those rituals, and there's other ones too that we can talk about like, you know, having meals. Of course, we don't have to have every single meal together, but once in a while or once a day having dinner together or maybe breakfast together, um, you know, making that a ritual and having meals together, you know, waiting for the other person to come home to have dinner with them. You know, these are also types of rituals that we can use to have, you know, practice our love languages. So that would be more like quality time, like make time to have quality time and having meals is another one. So there's all these different rituals that happen throughout the day, throughout the week that, you know, are opportunities for you and your romantic partner to strengthen your intimacy and to not let it become something that's a lack of love, but some an, a ritual that's going to be full of love. So the ones that I talked about today, again, your hellos and your goodbyes, your good mornings and good nights, please remember to Remember to have them and to keep them strong with intimacy, with romance, by practicing those love languages, by practicing the physical touch, the kisses hello, the kisses goodbye, the kisses good night, the kisses good morning, hugs, kisses, holding hands, whatever your pre preference for physical touch is. And then also the words of affirmation as well. You know, I love you. I hope you have a good day. I love you. I hope you have a good morning. I love you. I hope you sleep well. You know, oh, I missed you. Like those words of affirmation can go a long way too. And it only takes a second, a minute really to do it. So time is not a good excuse. You should always have time for each other, especially those quick little moments to show love. And remember to use those rituals, those daily events, those weekly events of hellos and goodbyes, good nights and good mornings, meals, and other events that happen all the time between you and your romantic partner as opportunities to strengthen your relationship, strengthen the intimacy, and practice your love languages to each other. Anyways, that's what I wanted to talk in this video. I hope you like this video. I hope it resonates with you. I hope it strengthens your relationship with your romantic partner or partners in the future. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.